Let's go. Oh, I almost missed this one. Saw the other one. Gongora's going to be our protector from now on. I feel so much safer already. Girl, you should not be smiling. You should be worrying. Everyone was so excited about the coronation. We all feel a lot more secure with Gongor. Ugh! King Saifa and Tolten seemed like kind rulers, but supposedly what we need now is a strong king like Gongora. No! Kind kings can also be strong kings. The frick. I'll salute Gongor. Ugh! That kind of gets on my nerves. That, uh, It's... It's like being kind is a weakness. I've heard that a lot of times. And it's not. It's... Oh, it's one of the stronger things you can do, just to be kind to people. Sacrificial... Sacrificial ceremony? What? That is not good! Oh, we need to get to sad. We need to be quick. <clears throat> and also, where is Ming and Jansen? Where are they? I'm sure they're safe somewhere. Ew! Ew, that is gross! What in the ritualistic murder is this? Bestow your glory on this man. Grant this man, Gongora, the power to assume the throne. What, what is he doing? That? It's a ritual whereby people not of the royal bloodline may assume the throne. The successor must be adopted as a member of the royal house. This involves making them drink the blood of the rulers of Ura. Ugh, that's disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting! He is gross. I hate Gongora. He's one big meanie. Why does he look like a Le Lego with that this outfit? Man, Gongora, has imbibed the history of the throne of Ura. He has won the right to be named official successor to the royal house. You're gonna regret this, y'all. Rejoice! For a new era has come for the everlasting royal house of Ura! Damn you, Gongora! You intended this all along! The ambitions of mortal men know no bounds. Problem is, Gongora is immortal, and his ambitions reach even beyond that. <sighs> I have been a fool. Listen, Don't blame this yourself. Is time to blame yourself, or would you rather just let him get away with it? Certainly not. That's I'm the spirit. Like... Now, how do we get to him? Oh my gosh. Sen! Hey. Huh? Stand aside. Uh oh. <laughs> Come on. Come. Wait. <laughs> I feel so bad for Seth. I hope nothing happens to Seth. Underwater tunnel. Mm. Attention! We have received word. The king of Gotza is dead. Ura has double-crossed us. Their magical ice attack has dealt us a tremendous blow. The king left this force here in this tunnel to mitigate just such a situation. Ura thinks that it has succeeded and will therefore be off guard. 
we will take this opportunity to mount an all-out attack. We shall not waver as we carry out our late majesty's will to avenge our families and the people of Gutsa. Great, now there's gonna be a war too. A sea of fire! We need to get out of there and save as many people as possible. Is there a way to stop this? I don't know. Oh gosh. These machines look powerful. Yeah, Ura is in for a ride. Now Gongora is probably gonna show them that he can protect the people of Ura and then everyone will be like oh we knew you were a strong powerful king that protects us blah 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 when he does not give a frick about them oh i hope we can save them all especially said that oil Are they gonna burn them, burn them alive? What is that? Why does it look like juice? Is it orange I juice? This sacrifice oh, to kindle the royal blood within me. Oh no! Oh no! How are we gonna make it? Said. Bolton seems to know that there's something special about Sad. Oh gosh. I don't know, but it's no earthquake. Good timing, y'all. It's the Godson soldiers. He knows of you, Gongora. You sly, sly fox. Oh, gosh. It's the Gilton Army. Perfect. Well, this was perfect timing. Forget about it. Let's have some war then. They're not even gonna focus on us. Forward! Zip line. That's our way in. Sounds like I will, would enjoy it. No, not so much. I'm afraid of heights. Come on! <laughs> I think their dynamic is so fun. They're so different in personality. I love that. mind us um, we need to get to the middle don't mind us we just walk in is it because random battle or did I walk into someone might have So 
what side we're gonna be on? Who has the most HP? Cut down, yes! Darn it, I should have gotten cut down on Seth as well. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. What? Why are you attacking me? Okay, then I should have just attacked the Gotsam army. Because these guys be attacking us. Brace yourself. Oh, oh, oh. Shouldn't have hit us. Oh, bam. Smacked in the face. Oh my god, it's gonna be so fun when Tolton gets to know that Seth is actually Seth's son. I think it's gonna be pretty shocked. <laughs> it's gonna be like, wow, he's old. Why are you so young? <laughs> Let's do a power hit. Well, you can heal me up. I love that sword. It's so pretty and golden. It's definitely his color. That's for sure. For me, I'll pick silver. I don't look that well in gold. It's Okay, let's not run into anyone else. Hey. We need to first heal up. Just in case so. Um Oh! Could we just run or can we? I mean it seems like there's there's just a big corner, I don't know if we can jump over it. I mean, in real life you could, but... Might as well cut down. Yeah. I mean, the Uran armor seems a little bit you know that circle on top of the head seems a little bit too dangerous like what if what if the godson army had like some kind of fishing gear they'd be able to fish all of these urn soldiers just by the head Or like just throw them around like a kettlebell. Maybe I should just give them a better design. You know, I could be like the armor designer. And do little skirts on the armors as well. I'd create cute armors. Now you attacking me. I wonder if the other pirates are also Seth's friends. Or if there's like different pirate clubs. Yeah. 
I so much love counter and absorb attack. Oh, so good. Oh, I need to get that guard as well. Did you see? He has that skill. Hold them. So we need to learn that for Seth and uh, Kaim. So they can guard and it just reduces to zero. Yes. But I think we're gonna do break hit and then persistence because then it sounds like... Oh, you see, I already did persistence now. Uh, so let's see what we got. Okay. Uh, counter guard. Let's do that and then the persistence or should we do persistence now? Well, we haven't really had an enemy that can just obliterate our health yet. So I don't think it is that important to have uh, persistence right now. I hope I'm safe. I don't know. Now I'm scared. <laughs> what if only because I said that? There's gonna be like that kind of issue. Wait, I was talking and I didn't realize Seth has persistence, not Kaim. I don't know what to do. They came from nowhere. We're... Get me out of here. Somebody help. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of this? Seth! <gasps> Oh, so sweet. Mama? I knew it. Yep. This is my boy. Huh? <laughs> what? Mama. This man. Isn't he the king of Ura? Oh, I'll tell you later. Long story. We're out of here. Come on. Move it. Okay. <laughs> oh, so fun. This is gonna be a fun trio. Now where is Gongora? Where is this idiot? They don't know of his power. Miserable worms. Your bubbling efforts mean nothing. He looks so evil. He is evil. Oh man, can't wait to beat him up. Can't wait. Acolytes! Send me to Brandstaff. Oh? They can just teleport him there? The acolytes just gonna stand there like Well we're not gonna do nothing. Wait, how many acolytes do he does he have? Know that you have brought catastrophe upon yourselves. Activate Grand Staff! Uh oh Dark Acolytes. What? Where the others are also dark acolytes? I think so. Probably when he turned them into undead acolytes. <laughs> because he did revive them. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, 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 no. oh. Oh my gosh, what are these dinosaurs? What in Jurassic World is this? Uh oh. I think the entirety of Ura is good, just gonna be. <laughs> I don't know if these 
dinosaurs know what a civilian is, so they're probably just gonna go against all of them. No covered trail. Is it the kids or Kaim and Sarah? The kids. Oh, they're all alone. Oh no. I swear if they don't make it. I was gonna say I'm gonna quit playing, but that's not true. <laughs> But I'm gonna be be really sad. Come on, we need to make it into a town or something. No, Mac. Oh no. Please don't faint here. Faint, I mean. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Oh. Where is he? What way can we go? I gotta go back. I can't just leave Mac behind. Oh, okay. He was here. I thought she already turned. Come on, Mac. Where are you? There are you. Mac. Don't fall asleep, okay? That's right. We can't fall asleep like this. It's really dangerous. Look. Hang in there. We just have to keep moving. Yeah. Oh my gosh, who is close by? It's either gonna be Ming and Jansen or Sarah and and Kaim. Okay. If they made it, I'm pretty sure Jansen and Ming did it at least. Okay. Strong boy. Let's go. Let's just continue. Oh, they really be struggling. This is how it is when it's stormy in my city. When there's a snowstorm. I remember going to school one day and it was like literally like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's how it is when you live in Norrbotten. Gosh, I don't see nothing over there. There's just... Just a trail. Straight trail. Can I do something with these lights here? No. Oh gosh. those yellow lights just be flickering seems like we could go to the sides we just keep having the wind in our face can't go any faster Is there anything here or anyone? I don't want these kids to be alone. I don't want nothing bad to happen to them. We got two chests here. 
And it looks like we can regenerate health and MP. We haven't really fought, so... I don't think there's anything to regenerate. I wonder what kind of devastating attacks Gongora will do now when he's in Grand Staff. It just feels like he's gonna flatten the entirety of Ura. But then again, he has no people to rule over. However, he does want to rule over the world, so... I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares one bit. We need to take him to that mirrors place. What was it called? Hall of Mirrors or something? There's something on the other side? No, I don't think so. Oh gosh, what is this, what is this fight gonna be? We're just two kids. Okay. We can bring this one down. All round. All round. Well, we could also use the shoes. If we don't want to fight. I'm glad he's... She seems to be doing well anyway. Good job. Now let's just continue on this trail. We'll probably have like a cutscene because we can't be walking like this all the- Okay, there we go. There we go. I've played too many games to know. Hmm. Then now what? What are we cutting to? Oh, please be Ming and Jansen or Kaim and Sarah. I'm curious. Oh? Different kind of music. When you touch me, it's, it's Ming! Like a dream. And what is with this music? It's in your eyes when you look at me. I hear your voice beside me. Tell me it's gonna be a romantic scene, please! I can't hide how it makes me feel The shyness you see I may never Oh my god, this is like a romantic drama understand <laughs> how deep it goes But I know how I feel What I hold deep in my heart Oh, I love this. This is exactly what we needed. Okay, I need to listen to this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. It wasn't her eyes you were purple before? At least I thought I was dreaming. Were you really singing? No. Yeah, I it's not something I do in front of people normally. Well, what? What? 
What happened to your eyes? <gasps> it was that. Yes, I knew it. What's going on? Yeah, what? I had a dream. You mean your memories? Yes. Somehow, protecting you and releasing all that magic energy, it might have released the seal upon my memories as well. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful love story. <laughs> I love this. After all, I did seal off my own memories. You remember. That's... that's great! Uh, what's wrong? Are you upset about something that happened? Huh? Kaim really hated his memories. He said they were nothing but painful. As painful as it is, I think it's my duty to regain these memories. Duty? What do you mean? Kaim likely had much more involvement with other people than I. He has seen much more of life and death. The weight of a thousand years can indeed be painful. But I want to look back carefully at all of those years. Uh, wow, a thousand years. That's really long. I can see how it could be bad. You know, have everything change except for yourself, that would be hard. Mm. You are incredible. To live a thousand years, simply incredible. I can't even imagine. Uh, here, um, have some food. <laughs> this was uh, all there was. It's not fit for a queen, but uh, you know, it's keep your strength up. Thank you. Shall we eat? I'm uh, okay. You go ahead. You need to get your strength back. You must be exhausted. You had to use a lot of magic energy to protect me. But as a result, I finally know who I am. Thanks to you. Well, yeah, you know, I did what I had to do there. I just kind of sat there and uh, you basically protected me. <laughs> Gee, that's, that's really embarrassing, actually. Oh, man. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> oh, we really needed that scene. That was so sweet. And he didn't eat his sandwich. He's probably saving it for her if she needs it. Because she protected him with her magic. I can't these two. They're so freaking adorable. Look at her lashes lashes. Are we going to get a cutscene? Because it zoomed in on her? Or are we changing to different characters? Oh. Hey, those are the same dinosaurs! Where the frick are we? This doesn't look like Ura. Oh. Oh! Well, your majesty, what will you do? All of your precious subjects shall now become fodder for Arthrosaurus to feed on. Everything they have built, their town, culture, history, their lives, their meager happiness, all shall literally be crushed under their feet. Only you can stop this, your majesty. Ming Nuamara. Why have you done this? Do you have no compassion at all? 
Ah, you realize, of course, that while you stand here... Oh, even more of your people have been slaughtered. Gongora, you monster! <laughs> you and I have an eternity. But do you have time to hesitate, your majesty? I want to beat him! Are you deaf to their screams? What must I do? It's times like these that immortals are so inconvenient. I can't very well take your life. However, whether one chooses to live as a walking corpse or to throw one's life away, the end result is the same. What are you talking about? You will seal off your memories. What? Your magic energy is very powerful. Use it to hypnotize yourself and lock your memories away. If you do so, I shall halt Arthrosaurus. You coward. You have only two choices here. He did it for the people of Nomara. What a queen. He's such a kind person. That's why her eyes became purple then. Your Majesty, please, we must hurry. Who are you? And why do you dress me as your majesty? Because you are the queen of Numara. I am? Truly? Oh, this freaking idiot! <laughs> oh, she totally used her kindness against her. How are you feeling, Ming? I have been brought back. For my people. He's so loyal. That was such a great cutscene, the entirety. Ming, hey, where'd you go? Well, yeah, where did she go? Old Gotza. Scrap dungeon. Let's save here. Are we really alone? No, she... She didn't leave. She didn't leave Janssen, right? No, she wouldn't. Probably somewhere around here. Ambrosia. There she is. Hey there. All rested up? Let's go look for Kaim and the others. Oh, they're so incredibly adorable together. I can't. So, so, so freaking adorable. I ship them so hard. At first, I didn't want Janssen to go after the queen, just because he seemed like a total player. Oh! That just fell down. But he has shown himself to not be a bad character. He was always a fun character, but I thought that he would be a player as well. And I didn't want him to play our Queen Ming. The carrying Ming. Nothing here. And they both seem to be genuinely, genuinely in love with each other. 
They don't even have to say anything. We just know. Because of these romantic, subtle scenes we've gotten. <laughs> I love when they do uh, love stories like this. When it just grows. Not when it's thrown into your face. There seems to be like a robot in the snow there. What you mean? What are we seeing? It's okay, we have Ming. What are these? Oh. We don't know how much health they have. Well, at least we can see the type and element. Oh, what? what's that? Is that par- <gasps> It does paralysis! Oh, jeez. Just like that worm in the beginning. We have Ming with us. <laughs> mm, okay, not yet. I don't know if we should switch ring. I mean, can we even do anything? with a ring on a mage. I mean, a status effect would do something, right? But we rarely go around hitting with our staff. I mean, we can use like pickpocket, maybe? Should we just keep Osmosis Ring, even though it doesn't do nothing because we're not using it? <sighs> okay, let's continue. Okay, there was no robot there. What is this? Place with loot is a good place. I can't wait to see how this develops. And I hope, I hope they do not kill off any one of these two. Because then we're gonna have a sad love story and I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I just want them to live happily ever after, like everyone else. Just let me have that kind of ending. Because I'm gonna cry my eyes out. For all of these characters, I will freaking cry my eyes out. I mean, might as well just stand beside. We're still at the snowy place. We're at Gotsa. Old Gotsa. What should we do? Oh! We're in Lowtown? Well, how about we take another approach? Like what? Well, uh, Kaim and Sarah were on the magic train pulling Cook and Mac, right? Yes, they were eastbound, I think. We go after them. We have to. Some people are trying to escape, but I wonder how well they'll manage against the monsters. Oh, we're not far away from Cook and Mac. They're on the trail. As for Sarah and Kaim, no clue. We haven't gotten to see them at all. Who knows what'll happen to Gotza, with the king being dead now, from what I hear. Well, the people in Lowtown, they freaking made it. Hang on, this isn't the right direction, okay. 
Just gonna check. That roadway connects to the old part of town. It's dangerous over there though. Monsters are lurking everywhere. Well... That's not a problem for us. Is this to the trail? Hmm. Eastern District? Looks way different. Everything is just ruined. This does not look good. Maybe now that uh, if we find Kaim and Sarah, maybe we can save them with Ming's power. Since she has all her her magic back. Her memories are back, everything. I've still got a lot to learn. Jansen learned two accessories? Did I see that correctly? What? Well, ain't this a good skill to learn f off of him? Uh, what are we gonna have you do? Spirit, maybe? Mm, absorb attack, very good. Why don't we have more of those? Relax, yeah, definitely. That's a good one for, for Jensen. Two accessories, yes! Definitely gonna learn that one. Dead end. Then we go up. Up we go. Just be careful not to slip. I wonder how far off the ending we are. Oh, what's happening? Right, so if Kaim and Sarah were heading east, then we should go this way. Huge. Yes, and Cook and Mac were off to find the Aurora to meet the souls of the deceased. Right, to find the spirit of their mother. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. I cannot. He is such a gentleman. <laughs> Did you see how shy he became so bashful? Oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> I am living for this. Living. Is there anything hidden here somewhere? No. That was such a cute scene. It means so much. Like those small gestures. They're so romantic. I hope that's not the end of it.
We're probably gonna find Cook and Mac first. Let your guard down, eh? Since they were on the trail at least. Kaim and Sarah, we haven't gotten a glimpse of where they are. But I'm afraid... I'm afraid that they could be dead. Or they could be trapped in that ice that fell over them. I mean, that entire glacier just fell on them. But as long as they are alive... That's a lot of damage. A seed. The only seed I know is Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> oh, I'm so gonna play that. Oh, we're gonna play that. The first Final Fantasy game I ever played. And it was so romantic as well. I almost thought this was an ev elevator and I was like, we're really gonna use this one? Seems like it would just drop. Oh, <gasps> we're already on the trail. Okay, let's go. We're gonna run and find the kids. We're close by, right? Don't tell me they're on the other side. I'm trying to navigate. Wait, there's a save over here, was it? I think I saw something, or was it the blue light I saw? Oh, yeah. Blue one. So no save. Don't see anything up the road yet. But at least it's not snowing. I thought it looked weird. Okay, I'm gonna get them all. Was that it? Okay. I'm always ready. That's such a cool staff. Both of them have a cool staff. Ming is so freaking elegant. Just the way she stands and moves is just so elegant. Just look at her. Such straight movements. Well, She's a like queen, all right. I don't see anything on the other side. But I don't know if they're on that side or if they're on this trail. gonna keep on going and see where we end up you know it's tough being so popular <laughs> this little spider Bye, spider. I am the greatest. 
I think Ming would actually agree. He seems very enamored by him. She feels like such a woman that uh, has been very, very concentrated. Oh, frozen trail. Uh, that has been very concentrated to protect other people. So she probably has never been in a relationship for 1000 years because she's kind of like... She's kind of shy as well and just, you know, a little bit awkward. Just a little bit. On uh, Jansen's advances and such. But now he's the one who's being awkward. <laughs> and just the way she got jealous. <gasps> There's the Aurora. Oh my god, please make it. We need to find them fast, 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 fast. Oh no. Cook! What happened to Kaim and Sarah? <laughs> They're immortal. They can't die, right? That's what immortal means. Get up, Hook. We gotta keep moving. I can't. I can't move. Hook. <gasps> Don't do this to me. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh, nope. We're near the Aurora, please do something. Oh no. Oh my god, no, no, no. Don't cry because we don't know if anything happened. Oh my god, please don't die. Please don't die. Uh, we're gonna make it. Ming and Jansen is on their way. Just... On their way. Do you hear something? Ming seems like she knows something. I heard a voice. A voice? Whose? I don't know. Maybe the wind sounded like a voice. Mm -mm. No, she's sure it's something it else. A voice? Then it was. <laughs> <laughs> now that's sweet. He just. <laughs> He just took back what he said. He was like, oh, well, I can't say that she heard things. <laughs> he knew. No, he knew that he said something wrong and was like, I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. You know, it's tough being so popular. We need to get to the kids. Oh, element earth. There we go. And this guy does a lot of damage. I can't afford to lose. We're just destroying every single enemy. We need to heal up. There's a lot of ice over there. Warrior's armband. What is that? That ice looked like the ice that Hook was going toward. So maybe they're at the other side. Randomly performs a black magic counter attack against the enemy's magical attacks. What? That sounds pretty darn good. I mean, 
think about wearing this when we are up against Gongora or the Acolytes. We're gonna be up against the Acolytes. There's like, if we're not... Okay, my bad then, but... Uh, in games it's usually like that. Because those are the henchmen of Gongora. So we're gonna probably have to beat them all. Finally a save! Okay, I'm gonna end the episode right here and continue tomorrow. So, thank you very much for watching and bye bye!